In this video I'm going to be installing my tooling plate and uh, vice on the tooling plate. I decided to go with a tooling plate because I'm going to be using fixtures, uh, fixture plates in the future so I can put uh, pins in it to keep it aligned so it's easy to uh, uh, change uh, fixture plates out. So, Alright, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my uh, tooling plate which is uh, right here. Um, the uh, yeah, I got this from uh, the little machine shop. Um, it's not cheap. It was like eighty nine dollars or something like that. Um, but you know, it gives me the opportunity to be able to take things on and off quickly. Um, so we'll start off by uh, putting the uh, T nuts in. Um, this uh, plate takes uh, six T-nuts. Uh, two over there. I'm going to try and start out clean here. Um, oops. Actually, I need to put... I put these, these are the original T nuts that came with it. I'm just keeping the original ones in the metal here. Alright, so I got my T nuts in the metal. Um, those, are the, those are the only ones that need to be put in uh, uh, beforehand. These actually can be put in later. So we're gonna make sure it's clean. There, make sure there's absolutely nothing on there. And on the back side of the tooling plate, make sure nothing's on there. Alright. We'll get the center ones put in there. The, the plate comes with these uh, mounting bolts here. Alright, then we'll uh, poke the T-nuts in here. Okay, well I already trammed and uh, Tighten the bolts on the tooling plate because my uh, cell phone battery died actually. So I did that while I was in. I've got to tram the vise anyway. So um, so that's all set. Um, I'm gonna. I uh, I made two uh, clamps for the vise. I custom made them because of the tooling plate and the bolt pattern and the the way the vise is. It's a uh, not the kind of vise that you. Uh, you know, it has a hole for bolting it. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll put this up here. Um, so this one turned out pretty good. I, I did this before I converted it to CNC. Uh, uh, but I messed one of them up. Uh, it still works, but it doesn't uh, look as good. But... Okay, well I had a little trouble with the uh, the clamps. I had to modify them a little bit, so uh, I've got a better fit on them now though. Um, so go ahead and put the uh, put the clamps on now that it's uh, has a better fit. I just had to cut a little bit of the uh, had to make this a little deeper. Uh, there wasn't enough play in it, so uh, this way the, uh, the bolts actually go in easier. Um, and there's some play, so I can adjust it. Tighten down. 
Uh, loose enough to be able to move it back and forth, you know. Okay. Just so it moves enough there, like that. And make sure I've got it in the right position here so that the uh, the end mill, the tools, can reach all the positions of it. Okay. Alright, that's as far as we go. Just to make sure the position of the vice is correct. That's with it. About all the way forward, and I'm gonna have it overlap the jaw a little bit because I'm gonna have soft jaws. Um, that looks like it may be okay there. Let me run it the other direction. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I like the position of the vise. And uh, we just get a rough alignment here with I don't have a uh, machinist square, so I'm using this. Um, it's going to put this on the edge like this to get a. Uh, yeah, with this block here, it's kind of hard to get you know a lot on there. But all right, let me tighten that down the, the hair. Okay, now we're going to put the uh, dial test indicator in there and we're gonna take the uh, take the head up a little bit take this end mill out and grab the dial test indicator and we'll just put that in a 3 8 end mill holder uh, let's see so all right set that in the end mill holder Okay, solid. I'll tighten this up. Alright. Pin out. Alright. I'll move this over here. Okay, so now I'm going to trim the vise, so I'll bring it down, and then take it to the left side of the, the, uh, the jaw there, um, Okay, so now it is uh, it's on ten, um, so I can zero it out. Okay, 
and then we will run it over to the right side and see how far we're off. <laughs> Well, not too bad. We're about four thou off, uh, just from the uh, just using this. So, all right, let's uh, tap that. Uh, let's see. We're going the opposite way, so I'm gonna want to tap. Way. Hmm. Looks, like, looks like we're a little too tight. Okay, I'll zero it out. Okay, we'll go to the right. It looks like we're about uh, 13 thou off. So we're going to have to go this way. So if we're 13 thou, see, we'll go back to about. Okay, well, I got it to about within a half a thou. Um, I think that's uh, close enough for, for what I'm doing here. Um, all right. Well, the uh, so the tooling plate is in. Uh, I've got the uh, the vise in. Uh, both of them have been trammed, and uh, also I got one of these uh, sockets that I've seen uh, other people doing. I think uh, uh, tactical keychain and uh, I believe NYC CNC. I talked about this. I actually just put it on one of these 12 volts, these miniature drills here. Uh, so this works pretty good because you can just tighten it up like this. I guess I should take uh, this up, get this out of here. Um, run it off to the side here. So uh, if you want to put some parallels in here. I can put the parallels in there and uh, stick a piece of metal in here like this that I need to work on and uh, just torque it up. Uh, can't really get this size in there, but tamp that down there. There you go, and you can just tighten it down. Don't even need the, uh, don't even need this. It's uh, just with that. It's, uh, I suppose you can tighten it a hair more, but this could probably, yeah, this could too. So this can actually get it down as pretty much as tight as I'm going to need it. I think. Yeah, yep. All right, so that's all done. Um, next thing I'm going to be doing is going to be doing the uh, the tool offsets. All right.